Alrighty, so we're gonna see how she does with this stuff. She's already kind of smelled this stuff. It's a good. Uh, she getting into good. Oh, that's where the cats lay down. So she might be. So when when she gets mouthy right here. When she was mouthy over there, when I was grabbing on her paws, she doesn't do it hard. But if you push it, you could make them want to do it hard, right? If you reinforce it and if you push it, right? There's a lot of not. Oh, she's a little freaked out still, right? There she go. What was I going to say? It's a lot of nonsense about let them see this, give them food. If you're initially conditioning that, that easily works. Sometimes if they're weirded out by it, it or even like these guys that just have anxieties, they're, uh, they ain't going to work. So they're not going to take food in that moment. So sometimes it's just, a, oh, I got that a little bit high. I'll let her settle down right here a little bit. It's hard because I feel like sometimes I I do uh, least pressure when I don't mean to be. All right. Come good. Good girl. And she's pretty good with it. I might be pushing it right here. Just to give her a little break on it, right? Just start everything. Just start real slow. All right? The more you do it, the more shorter ones you do it the less stressful it is right give a little break in between let her sniff around sniffing is supposed to be calming sniffing and chewing right so that's why they like to use their mouth because it releases anxiety and stress good girl Right. You're okay. Is that from uh why you got a scratch right there? Did that just come from this? That was right where I went to do a brushing. That's a good girl. Good job. I don't, maybe I'll mess with the Furminator too. All right. We've got a lot of noises going on over there. Motorcycles, I think. Good girl. You got a lot coming off on the Furminator. Right, so she does go into a sit or a down like on her own when she's trying to uh, relieve herself. Wait, relieve herself? Stress. You got more than Charlie had. Are we even in the picture? Good girl. Hold on. You better walk it off. I think it is right there, right? I think it goes pretty wide. Let's try one more. All right, so I'm not opposed to doing stuff like this in those moments. She's all right. All right, so she's kind of pulled away to the side. But she's okay. <laughs> I 
ideally it's better if she's just standing up, right? Uh, what else have I seen? Put them on like a picnic table? I think they'd still lay down, right? Good girl. Am I pushing it right now? All right. So we're getting an awful lot of hair from her on the Furminator. I did Charlie this morning. Barely got anything. Good girl. Furminator. All right, now here's going to be the fun one. So I have this, uh, I'm going to let her go sniff. I'm going to let her walk it off a little bit. I have a hands-free belt that I always forget to use, but the hands-free belt would be good, right? So I would put, is this thing on? Yeah. <laughs> so I have the little carabiners to put on the hands-free belt because the least that comes with them has a clip on both sides, so you can just clip it on. So let's see how this goes. I saw one thing. They said start with their feet. All right. Let's get it a little wet. Start with their feet and then work their way up with the weirdos. With our weirdos. So I put her back on the slip lead. I've had her on the collar now for like a week. I put her back on the slip lead for this because I'm more uh, confident in the use of the slip lead than the martingale collars. There you go. A little bit of pressure from her trying to back away. You just act like it's no big deal, right? If you act like everything is no big deal, it's going to be no big deal. I'll let it take a second. I think I'm going to use the Dawn stuff instead of the Smell Good stuff because it's it's mixed up. It'll go easier. You can take a... That's what I should do is put water in this. That's what they do with the pet supplies. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Just act like it's no big deal. She can walk it off. It's okay. So at the pet supplies, I used to go up to it. <laughs> Are you doing all my lathering for me? By shaking? Uh, and that's what theirs is. They have the soap that they let you use. It's real watered down. Hey, come here, girl. Good girl. There you go. That's a good girl. Hold on. So I don't like that it's creating pressure right here, but you know what? Sometimes it just has to. Try not to be too over her. Like maybe ideally I would be on the other side doing that side. I'm just so used to when I do this, I reach over. What? As in, typically it's better to go like this and then come over here and go like this. So you're not hovering over. And then let's see. One thing I saw said, one thing I saw said, once every 18 weeks. Oh, right. I she wants to get away. And give her a little break. There's a lot of stress, right? A little stress shake off. Before it was the shake off of the water, that right there was probably stress, stress, stress shake off.